Hey guys, we're exploding a floater, floating stator, and um, air-driven rotor. We had a mark on the bottom of our stand, which is a tool actually, and on top of that we have a, a floating, floating rotor on a bearing, floating stator on a bearing. And uh, we're kind of looking at the dynamics here, where the stator magnet on the bearing is stabilized in the field, but there's an induced magnetism in the base that, that tends to uh, rotate. between the dampers. Now let's see if it does that outside of the dampers over here. Not so much. Now there is some lubricant on the base here. Let's see if we can uh, we put just a spot of lube lubricant right here. For this to ride in it'll make a difference. We've lost the rotation. Well, it seems to get dragged along, but we just don't see that same rotational. Well, if anything, it's going the counterclockwise direction, huh? Anybody else see that? Quite honestly, there's a gyroscopic pinning here. I could feel, I could feel like a hold down. Maybe it's being held down from lifting. Could be cohesive. But, um, Seems like it, I can still feel it even after it's lifted. It's just not spinning on that side. Let's bring it over here. 
see if it starts again. Maybe too much cohesion. Well, let's explore that a bit. Wipe the liquid off. We'll just leave a film. Green. It's vibrating. Got into some resonant mode there. There it goes. Equilibrium. Induced diamagnetic in the support, aluminum support. Found some magnetic connection on that. Well, that's it for now.